Laudato Si and Catholic Health Care. Less is more. In the Canticle of Creatures, St. Francis of Assisi uses the created world to praise the Creator. Praise be to you, my Lord, through Sister Water, which is useful and humble and precious and chaste. In an almost matter-of-fact way, St. Francis linked together what is useful, humble, and precious. In our contemporary consumerist culture, it is much more difficult to see the link among these terms. Yet, as we witness both the degradation of our Mother Earth and the degradation of our poor sisters and brothers, it is more important than ever to see this linkage and to realize that less is more. In his encyclical, Laudato Si, Pope Francis outlines the moral reasons for reducing environmental degradation and addressing climate change. He uses the term throwaway culture to refer to humanity's wasteful practices and poor management of natural resources. For humanity to flourish, we must become better managers of our shared natural resources and change our wasteful practices. He mentions water 47 times in Laudato Si. Once we start to think about the kind of world we are leaving to future generations, we look at things differently. We realize that the world is a gift which we have freely received and must share with others. Fresh drinking water is an issue of primary importance since it is indispensable for human life and for supporting terrestrial and aquatic ecosystems. Sources of fresh water are necessary for health care, agriculture, and industry. Water supplies used to be relatively constant, but now in many places demand exceeds the sustainable supply, with dramatic consequences in the short and long term. A 2010 report by Practice Green Health found that hospitals in the United States utilized an average of 441 gallons per bed per day. As significant consumers of water, healthcare facilities clearly have a need and an opportunity to manage and reduce their demand for water. Removing plastic water bottles is an easy change for most organizations, and it produces tangible financial, environmental, and human benefits. The logic is simple. If water fountains or non-plastic containers are available, then offering bottled water is not necessary. First, removing the bottles reduces plastic consumption. It also reduces the fuel burned to transport bottled water by truck. However, drinking water is a small fraction of the overall water consumption in a healthcare facility. Sterilization, heating, cooling, and sanitation make up the majority of water use in a hospital or clinic, and all are potential areas for improving water conservation. In the long run, our actions to prevent wastefulness serve the earth and all living things. We are called to be instruments of God our Father, so that our planet might be what he desired when he created it and correspond with his plan for peace, beauty, and fullness. A prayer for our earth. All-powerful God, you are present in the whole universe and in the smallest of your creatures. You embrace with your tenderness all that exists. Pour out upon us the power of your love, that we may protect life and beauty. Fill us with peace, that we may live as brothers and sisters, harming no one. O God of the poor, help us to rescue the abandoned and forgotten of this earth, so precious in your eyes. Bring healing to our lives, that we may protect the world and not prey on it, that we may sow beauty, not pollution and destruction. Touch the hearts of those who look only for gain at the expense of the poor and the earth. Teach us to discover the worth of each thing, to be filled with awe and contemplation, to recognize that we are profoundly united with every creature as we journey toward your infinite light. We thank you for being with us each day. Encourage us, we pray, in our struggle for justice, love, and peace.